Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two, where Art and I make a point out of making Celebrating Act Two the user manual for the rest of your life. And Art, you know that means people over 50. We're getting a little older. We want to enjoy life to the fullest. That's why we bring Dr. Liz on every once in a while. Mm. Hi, Dr. Liz. Hi, so, Dr. Liz. Uh, in, in, in that world, in that realm, um, uh, I have a lot of friends who talk, talk about their aches and pains, and and I don't tend to spend much more time with them anymore because I, although I, I have sympathy for them, uh, I, I know oftentimes it's we act our age uh, and you're as old as you think you are. And I mean, look at the Betty Whites of the world and uh, uh, the people constantly in the 90s and, and uh, beyond uh, into their early hundreds who are really sharp as a tack. And I know there's a lot of other things about that, but uh, is, there, is there really some truth to how do we measure how old we really are? Because I know there are some 50-year-olds that uh, look like old people. They act like yeah, old and, people. Yeah, and by I, the way, uh, somebody call Jane Fonda and tell her that she's 80 now, okay? <laughs> she looks great. Yeah. The, yes. the whole group of them, the, the, Bet, the Brady movie, where the four septuagenarians and octogenarians are out looking for Tom Brady. Uh, yeah, they, they look really young. <laughs> You're absolutely right. There are many definitions of age. Okay, so so how, do we, how, do we, how do we really measure uh, yes. uh, our, our, uh, our, forget about the biological age, the number of years, but in, in how we uh, see, see the world? Okay, so in the discussion, in the anti-aging world, like the conferences that I go to, for example, they distinguish between chronological age and biological age. So what I think you just said is biological, we refer to as chronological. How many years have you been on the planet? Oh, okay. Biological is referred to as what do your cells look like? What is your body's health actually looking like? And the one more term, which I'm, we don't have to spend a lot of time on, but I, I like to use this a lot, is what is your health span? So we know our lifespan is quite long. Fortunately, we're very lucky and very blessed in the United States. Our lifespan uh, is very long, especially compared to a few decades or a century ago. However, we want to make sure that we have a long health span time that we spend in good health, in good function. You were talking about centenarians, right? Which yep. I'm, sign I'm signing up for that, all right? And so I learned at the conference, and I'm always looking at what's coming out and what's new, how do we measure biological age? And there are three ways uh, one of which I heard about for the first time at the most recent conference that I went to. One of them that I don't remember if we have talked about it in together, but it's measuring telomeres. Telomeres. It's pronounced a few different ways. I'll say telomere. Have you heard that term before? No. no. Okay. I'll tell you exactly what a telomere is. So telomeres are little caps on the end of your chromosomes. Hmm. Every chromosome that we have in our cells, in our bodies, has a telomere at the end. It's yeah. exactly the same as that little piece on the end of your shoelace. All right? And so, the, as you can imagine, as time goes by, that little telomere gets worn down. It gets frayed. You know, you use a shoelace for a while, same thing that little piece at the end of it, the aglet, all right, at the end of the shoelace, uh, it gets worn out and it frays and it gets shorter. And this allows damage to the chromosome, damage to your DNA, and that is what can allow the decrease in function uh, in the body as we get older. So, the, okay, the, so, tell, we, so we want to know what do we need to do to make sure that our shoelaces have good tips on that. Is there something we can do? Okay, okay. Well, 
I want to spend time and share with you a couple of other ways to measure biological age, but the the sh you will not be surprised. Things that preserve telomere length are all the things that we always talk about in these videos. Eating well, getting good sleep, all of the things that allow cell repair in the body are going to preserve telomere length. Now, as you probably are aware, because you haven't been sent down to the lab to check your telomere length, this is not a standard test yet. Probably for the reason that the, the question you just asked, what can we do? It's not established completely as of yet in all of the medical world that you can measure the telomere and then tell the patient to do X, Y, and Z, and then you measure it again and you're gonna see it get longer. We don't have those studies yet. They're coming. That's coming in the future for sure. Well, okay. it seems, Dr. Liz, this seems like a, um, a a big development, even if there's more to come, which there always is, right? Mm -hmm. This yeah. seems like a big development it's, in it um, dealing with age. It is. It, it is. it actually is a simple blood test. It's just not yet a common blood test. Mm. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is measuring, looking at the genes. This is a genetic or genomics test. People will start to hear that term as well. And it is looking at methylation. Methylation. And that means methylation is a very important part of cell function. Every cell in the body uses methylation. However, what we've now discovered is that you can look at methyl groups on the DNA, and that can tell you what's happening with the whole metabolism and the function of the DNA. Wow. Mm. Okay, it's very, yeah, it is a wow. It is very interesting, and I'm just looking to see. So choices that we make if we eat less healthy food, also toxin exposure, you can see changes in the methylation of the DNA. And there are tests now that can assess this. Wow. You know, I'm <laughs> flabbergasted that medicine has gone from the cellular level, right? When I was a kid, it was, being able to talk about your cells and get that close to into your body was amazing. Mm -hmm. Now we're at the DNA level. And beyond the DNA That's level, right. we're talking about pieces of the DNA, the telomere. This is That's incredible. Right. That's right. It absolutely is incredible. You know, a few years back, I'm, I don't remember exactly the year, but it was not very long ago. You remember the Genome Project? And mm -hmm. it took them a number of years to be able to show the entire genome. Yeah. Right. It took years. Yes. Now it can be done in a matter of hours, the entire yeah. genome. Amazing. Yeah. Well, once they've opened up some it of the doors, very... it just it's really exploding. Well, I, I, I would like to say that That's in right. the spirit, in the spirit of uh, biological and chemical uh, ages, even though I've got about a quarter century until I walk this time uh, years ago, as John well knows, uh, I've asked my sister to start planning my 100th birthday party. I, I'm not a big birthday party guy, but I figured that I owed it to the world uh, to celebrate my 100th birthday to make up for all the times that that uh, I barely would acknowledge it because I just don't feel I'm getting older. I mean, I know I am, uh, but I'm just, right. there's so many things I wanted to. So you, Dr. Liz, and, and John, of course, has been invited years ago uh, are invited to my 100th birthday party. It'll be probably in Southern California, but uh, it'll be worth the trip down because I know, uh, Dr. Liz, you have friends down here as well. So uh, uh, I look forward Absolutely. to all of you Family joining me at the, and you know what? Jo I'm going to learn how to do the tango for my 100th birthday party because I can't dance a lick now. Oh, very well. Very well. Well, I can share with you one more. I wanted to share three that are tests that can be done and maybe by the time that we get to our 100 year birthday parties these tests will be just routine mm -hmm. and this third one is one that i had not heard of before i went to the most recent anti-aging conference 
and is measuring glycation. And they call them, I, I, I want to make sure I get it right, advanced glycation end products. Okay, don't even worry about remembering that. I just wanted to share because it's pretty exciting. And what they, the, the easy way to remember them is that AGEs, advanced application end products, are what form when you grill, like you brown anything. It's called the browning effect. And we've heard about these kinds of uh, products like the char, if we cook something that's not good for us, that's why. And same thing, it alters the proteins that, ex that cause tissue damage and cause the appearance of aging and aging at the cell level. And so that's coming, that is coming. That quick test does not yet exist. It's a process at a particular lab and they're working on getting that information out. So there'll be a lot of things to check and I wanna check them on you, Art, for sure. I wanna check them now and when you turn 100. That, that's where we're gonna I'm, find out how useful these tests are. I'm ready. Yeah, okay, okay. right there, we take my test. Do. <laughs> that's right, it'll be a party favor. Mm -hmm. Dr. Liz, this is always wonderful information. I, I love the fact that not only can you um, help us with our current health, but you're bringing us information we can look into the future that gives us great hope. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.